How's it going guys, it's Jiggy here and in this video we're going to be talking about how big data is related to something called functional programming. We're going to be going through the three main features of functional programming languages which allow us to analyse big data, and these are statelessness, immutability and higher order functions. In the introductory video, we talked about how dealing with big data will inevitably lead you to having to distribute your processing over multiple servers. This makes it awkward as a programmer since you're going to have to deal with many machines accessing the same piece of data at the same time. The functional programming paradigm has some characteristics that can help with this. There are two main features that we need to know, which are the ability of functional programming languages to produce correct code and code that can be distributed to run across more than one server. Let's take a look at the concept of correct code to begin with. The ability to write correct code is very key to functional programming, the program's behavior should not be affected by the number of times the function is run, what order they are run in, or by what machine it is run from. This property is called statelessness and leads to predictability, which is essential when you're coding for machines that work in a parallel fashion. Now in functional code, variables cannot have their values changed, which means that once they've been assigned, they cannot be given another value. This means they are described as immutable, which means that their value cannot be changed. Now this also means that functional languages therefore have no side effects. For example, if you declare x is equal to 2, and later on you decide to declare that x is equal to 5, the program will complain since you have contradicted the law of immutability. You have attempted to change the value of a variable, which isn't allowed. This is not allowed because if many different servers are trying to access the same piece of data, well, it should never change because the expected inputs for functions on other servers is going to be different. Since functions only consider what is inputted and outputted, it makes it easier to write correct code and makes it easier to predict the behavior of a program. Functional languages also support something called higher order functions, which can take in functions as input and produce other functions as output. These type of functions are great when you need processing done in parallel fashion, which big data sets often require. There is something called the map function, which can apply another function to a set of inputs. This is a higher order function, since it can take another function in as input. It is particularly useful for when you want to apply a function to each element in a list. You don't have loops in functional programming, so the map function becomes useful when you want to repeat your processes, which, of course with big data, is something you're going to be want to be doing a lot of the time. One other awesome thing about functional programming is that many processors in different servers can run their functions on one set of data. Great, let's have a quick recap of what we've just gone through. We know that functional programming allows us to write correct and distributed code, and we learn that there are three features of functional programming, which are statelessness, immutability, and higher order functions, and exactly what they mean.